Federal government accuses Labour Party presidential candidate Peter Obi of treason. Hello everyone, welcome to Newsport TV. The federal government of Nigeria has accused Peter Obi, the presidential candidate of the Labour Party in the 2023 election, of treason for allegedly inciting people to violence over the outcome of the presidential poll. In a statement made by the Minister of Information, Lai Mohammed, during his official engagement with international media organizations in Washington, D.C., USA, the government stated that it was wrong for Obi to seek redress in court over the outcome of the polls and in another breath, incite people to violence. The Minister of Information stated that Obi and his vice, Dati Ahmed, cannot be threatening Nigerians that if the president elects Bola Tinumbu of the All Progressive Congress, is sworn in on May 29, it will be the end of democracy in Nigeria. Mohammed described this as an act of treason and incitement to insurrection. The statement further criticized Peter Obi, stating that his desperation was leading him to make statements that were undemocratic. The minister stated that his Democrats should not believe in should not believe in democracy only when they win the election. Obi and his vice, Dati Ahmed, cannot be threatening Nigerians that if the president elects Bola Tinumbu of APC is sworn in on 29th May, it might, it might end democracy in Nigeria. This is treason. You cannot be inviting insurrection, and this is what they are doing. Obi's statement is that of a desperate person. He is not the Democrat that he claims to be. A Democrat should not believe in democracy only when he wins. Some have stated that the government is attempting to silence opposition voices and prevent dissenting opinions from being heard. Now let's take some comments. Someone says, Oops, Obi has been showing desperation since day one, giving Nigerians the vibe that if he doesn't become president, nobody will, and Nigeria will burn. Another said, They should caution their utterances, especially Dati. The case is already in court. Now, Dati, they caused this shit with the rubbish he said on channel television. And another said, They can't dare to arrest Peter Obi. Another said, Actually, the federal government is right. You are not pleased with the outcome of an election where you came third and you want to raise the roof. You filed a watery lawsuit and accused CGN of meeting with Tinumbu. Democracy is here to stay and it won't be truncated by a candidate who desperately hopped between three parties just to clinch a ticket. Another said, Tinumbu's case is similar to that of a thief that stole the village drum. He can't beat it in his house, neither can he take it outside. Another said, there's already a case in court. Why creating a problem all because you want to take power at all costs? You should come down and allow the courts to decide. If he's arrested for treason, nothing will happen, no. Another said, talk to your people in Quara State and Southwest. He's religious war, sir. Thank you, daddy. Another said, now waiting then do MKO won't repeat itself. Another said, as far as saying now Mr. Lai Lai talk him, I no value the speech. Everything coming out of that man's mouth now lies. Another said, federal government and APC are fighting their last fight. But to consume them all with some little fools where they share them. Why are they not saying anything about PDP? They know whose mandates they stole. Another said, Oh yeah, make una go arrest them. We all saw it coming. Another said, Last last na Peter will be supporters go chop breakfast. Another person said, Saw losers. Buhari and Atiku has lost election three and five times, and none of them threatened the peace of the country. Why must it always I'll be these people right from start. Another said the PDP has displayed absolute maturity since the announcement of the presidential election winner. Of the two Agberos, LP and APC won't just burn down this country. Another said this is ridiculous. This man said on national TV that his supporters should not protest and should stay calm and trust the process. Went to their courts, his vice quoted the law of having a particular percentage of Abuja to become the president and said the declared winner doesn't have that. So you want to illegally instill, install a president that didn't meet all the criteria to rule this country, which is the truth. But the federal government calls it treason. How? 
Another said, Na say make he go court, na so he waka go court. And na still talk, say he no suppose go court. Those people's mandates must be returned. Another said, I want obedience to let court do the rest of it. But who na no go here, this is democracy. You can't be saying such a thing in this nation. Another said, Peter is doing all this. Court is been assured that he would become president. And he himself refused to use his sense, calculate the impossibility. Like he was doubtful of some states in, yes, daddy video, yes, is crying around. Another said, this president that is ruling you today did worse and even came out on TV to say blood will flow if it doesn't win the election in 2011. El Rufai threatened that people will go back in body bags during 2019 elections. Gumi and the rest have done worse. Nothing happened to them. You are here opening your mouth to talk about someone that has done nothing wrong. Another said, I wonder how old people whom God has been gracious enough to give them long life and the opportunity to correct their wrongs and straighten their ways before him will be plotting so much evil and demonstrating so much greediness. It's like some people believe they are gods. Another person said, their evil script is unfolding. We had seen this coming. Shameless people. There's a limit to stupidity and madness. Another said, because of taking APC to court, Kai Peter will be really messed the system up and they are all looking for a way to arrest him. Please go to court and stop disturbing Nigerians. Another said, may God punish the person we talk this talk. Another said, why are you people crying? Make una touch and make una see fire. Another person said, how is Obi inviting violence, please? Where did he say people should fight or where has it caused any violence? I don't get it. Another said, he's just a bad loser who thinks by crying consistently he can invalidate the presidential election result. Same man, FG should just leave him to his nonsense. He goes soon tired. Trump did the same thing when he lost the election and his supporters even invaded the capital and some that were labelled as treason. Another said, Peter Obi's silence is killing them. Another said, um, but MC Oluomo was joking, right? Like Mohammed, your stupidity is chronic. If you like, have one billion voice recording. Go and arrest him. After eight years of ruining the country with $160 billion debt, you people still don't have direction of where the country is heading to. Hmm. Another commenter said, It just they pray, make the arrest and make a see drama and protest, I swear. Another said, What did Obi say? So that is now Obi. If they never mention Obi, they are... I know go clear. Another said, I beg, where is that boy, GRV? Don't go back to Anambra. Another said, I laugh in Swahili. This man's silence is affecting them badly. Another said, you people are gallivanting around. Go straight to the point. Arrest him, it's been on your mind. And now go see us. Another said, Lai Lai Mohammed, you are a joker. We have always known you. Another said, we all saw it coming. The DS says we arrest him soon. That's when the real case will start. Hashtag NSAS part 2, the worst of it. This time, you all corrupt leaders won't have anywhere to run to. Another said, if you want an obedient to experience internal weeping, just reply yes, daddy, to whatever he says, or yes, mommy, if she is, is she obedient. So these are many more comments with the comments that followed what Lai Mohammed, the Minister of Information, said that... Peter Obi and his vice presidential candidate Obi Dati um, accused of um, treason and this is actually getting serious as the political t atmosphere is still being charged after the presidential and the governorship election in Nigeria. So we are going to wait for Peter Obi's camp or the Liberal Party to give a response to this information said by Lai Mohamed. What's your opinion on this? Please drop your comments in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching.
do remember to like share and subscribe to our channel to our new subscribers thank you so much for joining and to existing subscribers thank you so much for always stopping by we'll see you in the next news have a lovely day may god bless nigeria bye for now